All right, so here's the deal. I, I thought I knew what DEF CON was gonna be like. I mean, I've been to plenty of tech conventions, cybersecurity events, and even big expos. But, but this, this was something entirely different. It's the biggest hacking convention in the world. And when I say big, I mean massive. People everywhere, villages packed wall to wall, CTFs happening on every floor, talks that you wish you could clone yourself to see. And yet somehow it was all chill. I wasn't expecting the vibe, honestly. DEF CON feels less like a trade show and more like a hacker family reunion with 30,000 people you haven't met yet. If you've never been, I'm gonna break down what surprised me, what I loved, and what I think you need to know before you go. This isn't your average conference, and that is exactly why I think it's worth talking about. You see, DEF CON isn't just for hardcore hackers who, or people who live in the terminal all day. It's for anyone curious about how tech really works and how it can be broken to do what you want to do. Whether you're into cybersecurity, digital privacy, software, hardware, or even just solving puzzles, there's something at this convention for you. It's one of the few places where total beginners and world-class experts come together in the same room, trading ideals like it's no big deal. One of the first things that hit me walking into DEF CON was just the sheer scale of it. I mean, yeah, I knew it was the biggest hacking convention in the world, but no amount of Googling could prepare you for just how much is going on all at once. You can't see it all. You won't see it all. You've got to go in with a plan or at least an idea of what you're into because it is literally impossible to experience everything. There's a lot of hype around AI right now, and yeah, it showed up in a bunch of sessions, but it wasn't the only focus, and I really appreciated that for a change. I saw talks and demos on quantum computing, Kubernetes, social engineering, and even old school hacking techniques that still work today. And that's what was so cool. DEF CON isn't just about what's trending, it's about what actually matters what people are interested in, and you can really make the convention whatever you want it to be. But one of the biggest surprises, again, I feel like the vibe just, it completely caught me off guard. This wasn't like any of the other conferences I've attended, where it's just a bunch of vendors trying to pitch you stuff. DEF CON is for the community, by the community. It's laid back, creative, welcoming and honestly it was just pure fun you don't get that energy from a sales floor one of the coolest things i saw at defcon this year and it was brand new to the convention was the noob village it was packed all weekend the idea was simple create a space for people who are new to hacking new to defcon or just starting out in cybersecurity. and i've got to say it was one of the most positive welcoming environments I've ever seen at a con. They had live sessions going on, a networking area for people just to hang out and share stories. And it wasn't just for beginners either. You had experienced folks in there mentoring, guiding. People like John Hammond were giving talks in the room and talking to people, making space for the next wave of hackers to grow. And huge shout out for the team that ran that including Ginger Hacker, who I've actually had on this channel before. I also got to spend a bit of time helping out with the Kubernetes CTF booth. And look, I'll be real. I'm not at all a Kubernetes guy. At all. But just being there, manning the booth, watching people approach the challenge, it gave me a whole new appreciation for the way these CTFs are set up. They are just super creative and super hands-on. And speaking of CTFs, I actually did one of my first in-person CTF challenges ever. 
It was a half a box influencer CTF. And I don't wanna to give too much away because I'm gonna drop a full video about that experience soon. But yeah, diving in live with a team at DEF CON, that was some next level stuff. One thing that kind of really stood out to me at DEF CON this year was just how loud the conversation has gotten around data exposure and insider threats. With AI becoming more integrated into workflows, whether we like it or not, and with cloud access becoming the norm, it's really getting harder to know who's accessing what, where sensitive data lives, and even what's considered normal user behavior anymore. I actually had a chance to connect with a few folks from Veronis recently, and it lined up perfectly with what we're seeing in the industry. They built a data security platform that doesn't just throw alerts at you. It actually learns your environment. It knows where sensitive data is stored, tracks how it's being accessed, and can even tell you when something just doesn't look right. And what's even cooler, when it finds risks, it can automatically fix it. Like we're talking about removing access, shutting down risky sharing links, and stopping potential damage before a breach even happens. And for anyone working in IT or security, you know how much time gets wasted sifting through logs, trying to make sense of all these alerts. Vronis basically turns that noise into actionable signals and lets your team focus on what actually matters. One thing I didn't get to check out this year in person, but definitely wish I had, was their Snow Goat CTF hosted by the Veronis team. It was a hands-on Snowflake security training game that they not only ran live at DEF CON, but earlier in the week at Black Hat as well. And from what I heard, it was absolutely packed. The good news is though, this they made a digital version available, so you can try it out from wherever you are. I'll drop the link below if you want to challenge yourself a bit and see how their approach to data threat detection works in action. And a big thanks to Veronis for supporting this DEF CON coverage. This kind of conversation needs more attention, and it is exciting to work with companies that are actually doing something about it. If you're trying to modernize your approach to data security or just make your life easier without sacrificing protection, definitely check them out. Again, I've dropped the link down in the description below. Now, if you're thinking about going to DEF CON for the first time, here's my honest advice. Don't try to do everything. You won't. It is way too big and you're just gonna end up overwhelmed. Instead, figure out what you're into, whether that's cloud, social engineering, hardware hacking, use that as your anchor. Also, if you know anyone else going, hit them up ahead of time. A few people I connected with really helped guide me through some stuff I probably would have missed otherwise. Big shout out to KevTech who showed me around and introduced me to a ton of cool folks. Those personal connections, that's what's the real value of a con like this. And if you don't know anyone, don't sweat it. Hit up the new village, talk to people in line, ask questions. Everyone's there to learn, explore, and honestly, this is one of the most welcoming tech communities I've ever been a part of. Oh, and bring comfortable shoes. You're gonna walk way more than you think. Honestly, DEF CON was a wild ride. I mean, I won my first CTF there, and I'll share more of that experience as soon as I get done piecing everything together, but that whole experience gave me brand new appreciation for how hands-on and intense this field can be. And if you're in that phase of trying to break into cybersecurity or even just trying to figure out what path to take next, this next video might actually help you out with that. It breaks down what getting started actually looks like without any gatekeeping or any stuff you might see. So definitely click on this video next and I'll see you over there.